You should celebrate Palm Sunday as the day of the exaltation of Christ in Jerusalem. Traditionally, the crowds were mainly composed of Jews from countries who were journeying back to the royal city on their mandatory visit to the temple. Among these were those who knew Jesus from Egypt and India, and the new followers or disciples of the man Jesus. With his popularity at heightened numbers, anyone and everyone wanted to get a glimpse of him, the miracle worker, the Christ, the Messiah. Crowds pushed in awaiting his arrival, which was nothing short of amazing. Riding into the city with his wife closely behind him, they enter through the gate nothing short of triumphantly. And why not? His arrival marked that of a conquering king. It couldn't be any more perfect. The streets of Jerusalem, the royal city, are open to him. And like a king, he is getting the worship and praise of the people, all of which he rightfully deserved. At that moment, even the praises that were not because they recognized him as their savior, but believed he could be the Messiah, caused religious leaders to become even more threatened as no other man had ever attained such status among the people. Yet he didn't enter in wearing the regalia of a king, but that of a common man. So one can certainly ascertain that it was not the class he belonged, but his teachings and example that stirred their hearts. Certainly it was that one thing that drew them in, that one thing that shut down the human rational consciousness for one brief moment and sparked the transcendental template within each one who looked at him, bringing in some small way satisfaction to their souls.